IUCN has changed in my eight years as Director General. It is, after all, an organization that has existed since 1948, so change is normal. We've increased our membership tremendously. We now have today 1,262 members, uh, and, and that's a huge change. We, are, we have more than 12,000 experts who are participating as volunteers in our commissions. That number has also grown quite seriously since I've been DG. And that demonstrates, of course, an increased interest in the issues of conservation and the mission of IUCN. My principal aims when I arrived to IUCN was to make sure that I direct this organization in a responsible, transparent, and efficient way. That is my job. My larger goal was to ensure that the citizens of the world everywhere understand that nature is our life support and that we have to do something about it. So for me, it was very important that all the components of IUCN, the members, the commissions, and especially the secretariat, which is a group of people who work on IUCN business night and day, for everyone to have the capacity to communicate in a clear manner why it is important to look after biodiversity or nature, that it offers solution for our well-being. I think in the past, IUCN tended to feel satisfied in talking to the converted already. Our network is so big, after all, that we might have the feeling that we are convincing everyone. But I really wanted this message to go beyond this large network. And I think that we're on our way to accomplish that. My Personal highlights over these last eight years have been many. It's a little difficult to give you give that to you in a short response. But for me, the engagement with this passionate community, all parts of it, the, the, the secretariat, I've never seen such a group of hardworking, committed, technically competent people who I've had the honor to direct in these uh, as director general. But th this passion and this commitment it can describe all of the members and commission members and partners and, of course, the secretariat. And that, for me, has been the highlight. So the personal interactions with these committed, talented, energetic individuals represents really the highlights of my time as director general. I've had also the privilege to be director general for two huge IUCN congresses, as well as the recently held World Parks Congress. I think I'm the first DG who has done that. And of course, seeing this energy and passion and commitment come together, the members, the commission members, the secretariat, and all the partners who we've, we're starting to include in this movement, seeing all of this come together in those congresses has been really satisfying. The biggest professional achievements since my time as Director General have been many, frankly, but let me just stress on two of them. One of them is the fact that I believe that the different parts of IUCN, this complex organization, more than a thousand members, more than 12,000 experts, and about a thousand secretariat members, have increasingly been able to come together to collaborate compete less, and work together as a really an efficient movement toward a common goal. A lot more needs to be done here because it is a complex organization. After all, the issues that we're addressing are complex. Diversity itself is a complex issue. But, but I do think that we have made real progress, and I'm sure that this will continue. Another achievement that I'd like to mention, because this I, on this I think we did make real progress in these eight years is the increased engagement with business. After all, our mission says that we are to influence society as a whole. Business has a huge footprint in society, and, uh, uh, and IUCN not engaging with business would simply mean, in my mind, that we're not carrying out a major part of our mission. So this increased involvement, giving our views, giving our scientific knowledge to business, 
I think has uh, is helping move things along. And I'm proud of that, and I do also hope that that will continue. During my tenure as IUCN Director General, the world has faced serious financial challenges, and of course these have affected us. However, I'm very proud of the fact that we have managed to weather the storm. Everyone has had to tighten his or her belt, and we've managed to do this with in a spirit of solidarity to each other. We've had to rethink our business model, the way we perform, we've improved our efficiencies, and I, I think we face the challenges in a professional, responsible manner. I think IUCN is really fortunate that the next DG comes with a huge amount of experience and expertise, and I think a really good heart and, and commitment toward the mission of IUCN. I think the only advice I would give her is to enjoy it, and I'm pretty sure that she will. This is a beautiful challenge. It is a worthwhile challenge, and, and she will be surrounded by people who want to help her do this, which has been my case. Leaving IUCN will obviously be an emotional moment for me next week. I, th I think everyone knows that I've put my heart and mind into this job for the last eight years. I do think, however, that it's normal and it's healthy to leave such a big job after a certain time, and it seemed to me that eight years was the right moment to hand over. I'm so glad that I'm handing over to someone as competent as Inger will be, for sure. I, I will leave with lots of new friends and the great experiences, which will help me do other things that I want to do after this. I have had the privilege of being the director of a number of organizations before I came to IUCN, and it was always difficult to leave. However, I've also been enriched by the experiences and the friendships that I've gained throughout this very privileged career that I've had, so I'm leaving with a smile looking back and looking forward. I hope that in the future, this effort that we have made so far to get the messages of IUCN out into the hands of everyone, that is my really big hope, that the message of IUCN is essential for everyone. And therefore, of course, my hope is that this message will be taken seriously and frankly, as a result, that IUCN will be supported even more and will grow from strength to strength. That's my wish for the future. I'm going to move back to Paris after I leave IUCN. I have, however, fallen in love with the nature around the IUCN headquarters, this lake and the mountains. Many people know that I celebrate the fact that the people of France and Switzerland cleaned up the lakes some years ago, and so I swim across it with a group of IUCN colleagues every year, and maybe I'll be able to continue to do that. So I have a little house on the lake in the, on the French side, so I'll be able to continue to enjoy looking at these mountains and enjoying the, the beauty of this ecosystem. What I Professionally, I've decided that I don't want to be a chief conductor of another organization again. I've done that for many years, and I think it's time for others to do it. But I will use this long experience pre-IUCN and during IUCN that I've gained in, in managing complex systems to provide advice to other organizations. I've been asked to be on the board of directors and of a number of organizations. I've been asked to, to be a, attached to universities as a visiting professor of practice. And I think that's one of the things that I really look forward to, to inspiring younger people to really take on this, this torch that we are passing on, and hopefully they'll do it better, to leave the world a better place. And I'm looking forward to writing about my journey. I'm very fortunate that I've received a fellowship to start this project in a beautiful place on the Lake of Como in Bellagio, and, and I'll spend some time there. So, so I hope that I'll be able to be able to pass on this huge amount of experience that I've been privileged to, to have in all these years, to pass that on to others and, and enjoy some free time as well, which I haven't had much of, to be with my family and with my friends. 
My philosophy about being director general has always been that of a servant leader. So I don't think I was out in front leading IUCN on my own. We did it together. And therefore, I think the spirit of this movement of people being involved together will continue in IUCN with a new director general, who I'm quite sure will also have the same philosophy. This is not a task for one person. This has to be a task that the... the the ambitious mission of IUCN has to be carried out by everybody together. And what we've managed here, I think, is to establish a, a trusting community of people. Everyone knew what we had to do to contribute to that mission, but we did it together. And for me, frankly, that was the most satisfying part of this, of this job. It wasn't just the lonely leader at the top sitting in her office thinking great thoughts, but rather working together as a team. And, and, and I know that that team is solid enough to continue. Speaking about leadership, it's interesting how many people in this position and in previous positions of mine have told me that they found it surprising that I was so approachable. I find that kind of strange because it seems to me that any leader should be approachable. Otherwise, they just do their own thing, and that's not leadership in my view. I've had the privilege of being the director, an approachable director, since I was in my 20s, so perhaps I invented my own role model. Uh, many of these people who've talked to me about my being so approachable have told me that in their experience, this is not so common. I didn't know that, but I, I it comes from the heart. Of course, being approachable doesn't, my being approachable wasn't done because I wanted people to like me, but that's the only way that I can imagine leading an organization as a part of a group. Obviously, as a director general, at the end of the day, one has to make decisions, some of them rather tough decisions. I was always glad to do that. I, I was always ready to do that when necessary. But for the rest of the time, being a part of this amazing team was the most satisfactory part of my job.